Hello Grade 11s! In this video, we are going to have a look at what outliers are and how they can be determined on the box and whisker and scatter plots. In a set of data, it sometimes happens that a particular number is extremely high or low in comparison to the other numbers. Such a number is called an outlier. Outliers are important since they can distort the mean and have an adverse effect on the standard deviation. For example, if the annual salary of an investment specialist at a bank is included with the annual salaries of 10 bank tellers, the average salary of the 11 people would be completely distorted and way too high. The investment specialist will earn far more than the tellers. His salary will be an outlier and cannot be included in the data set when calculating the mean. Let's look at this data on a scatter plot to show the outlier more clearly. Can you spot the outlier? It's the point right at the top of the graph. It obviously does not fit the trend of the other data. The line of best fit shows that the outlier is far away from the other set of data. If we were to include it in our analysis of the statistics, it would distort the picture. We can use a formula to calculate the fence values for acceptable data. Outliers will lie outside of the fence values. The formula for the lower fence is equal to the lower quartile minus 3 over 2 times the interquartile range. The upper fence is equal to the upper quartile plus 3 over 2 times the interquartile range. Remember that we find the interquartile range by subtracting the lower quartile from the higher quartile. Let's look at an example calculating outliers and representing them on the box and whisker plot. Consider the following data. 21, 23, 24, 25, 29, 33 and 49. Determine the outliers. Our first step is to find the interquartile range. The lower quartile is equal to 23. The median is equal to 25. The upper quartile is equal to 33. The interquartile range will be equal to 33 minus 23, which is equal to 10. The lower fence will be equal to 23 minus 3 over 2 times by 10. This is equal to 8. The upper fence will be equal to 33 plus 3 over 2 times by 10. This is equal to 48. Now that we know the values of the upper and lower fence, let's look at our values again. There are no values that are lower than the lower fence. There is one value that is higher than the upper fence. This means that 49 is an outlier. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by trying to do the questions on the Working with Statistics task video. You'll also be able to learn more about statistics on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.